So you're a business owner looking to build your credit and easily manage all the different expenses that are associated with running a business. Well, in this video, we're diving into a solution that promises to address both of these issues in a very seamless way, which is Divi. So in this video, I'm going to be providing you with a clear picture of what Divi and the Divi credit card provides, an explanation of all the different tools that Divi users have at their disposal, and what you absolutely must know before deciding whether or not Divi makes sense for you and your business, along with why I personally do use Divi for myself and my business. So without further ado, let's dive right on in. And if at any point you decide you want to sign up for Divi yourself, you can score a free $200 by using the link in the description below and also supporting the channel in the process. So first off, what actually is Divi? In short, Divi is two things, a business credit card and an expense management system. Now let's dive into exactly how both of those work and how they work together to create something really, really valuable. Now with the business credit card, super easy to apply. And there are a number of different options once you apply to find something that fits your business needs exactly. Then once you're actually using Divi and your business is continuing to grow, Divi grows with you very effectively. Makes it super easy for you to get additional credit limits, add additional cards, and really just scale up as your business scales. Now, personally, I've been using Divi now for a few months. I was approved instantly for a $75,000 credit line and I've had a very positive experience thus far. Additionally, with all the different software integrations they provide, you don't have to change the way you do business, which made it super, super easy to migrate over to Divi from the old expense management platform we we're using and the old business credit card that we had, which does tie into one of the big reasons why I moved over to Divi in the first place. And this is due to their spend and expense management tools. Now with our old business credit card, what we could do is add employee cards, but we didn't really have very much flexibility in terms of the different permissions, restrictions, visibility, and just, they didn't make it very easy to manage many different employee cards. And as our business grows and as we hire more people, this is more and more of a concern. So when we saw how Divi kind of handles spend management and kind of employee financial management, we got super excited. So basically what Divi allows you to do is you can set so many different budgets, restrictions, permissions, and really just do exactly what you want to do with your accounting. So let's say that you want to have a company-wide budget for software expenses. Super easy to do. You just build that into your Divi card and from within your dashboard, it makes it super easy to monitor that, make sure you're on track and make sure you're not going over budget. Additionally, you can set budgets for different departments. So let's say your marketing team needs a $10,000 per month budget for Facebook ads. Very easy to do that. You just say who on your team is in the marketing department. All of them have individual Divi cards. And then across all of those cards can't spend more than $10,000 per month. Divi handles the rest or maybe you're sending out a team of a couple people to a conference they need money for lodging and food and transportation super easy to set that up as well so it's made it so easy for us to manage the spending of all of our different employees because it's all in one spot we have easy visibility over it. So within your dashboard, you can see what spending looks like across each department, employee card, et cetera. And then if employees or teams need more budget, they can easily apply for it within the Divi app shows up on my dashboard. I can approve or deny their budget requests. And again, everything is just so concise. It's in one place and it's so easy to visualize and control. You can also spin up as many virtual cards as you would like. So you can have physical cards. You can have virtual cards on the virtual side. You can make these as specific as you want because you can have an unlimited number of them. So for example, I have a virtual card only for rent expenses. So this pays for my co-working space and any other related rent expenses all goes on that card has a set limit every single month so that I can make sure that I'm not getting overcharged on there. And if anything were to come in that was outside of what was expected, it would be declined. So I would not have any kind of fraudulent expenses on those cards. So that's the spend management. Now let's talk about the expense management because <laughs> expense reports can be a huge headache for employees of of any size company. I mean, every time you're spending money, having to do a full report on that can just be such a headache. So Divi actually automates a lot of this as well, it makes it super, super easy for employees to create their expense reports and for me to see all of them and make sure that everything is as it should be. How do they do that? Well, every time an employee spends money on their card, I can get notified. Then from that expense report, I just select the information I need, categorize it if it hasn't been categorized already, and then it instantly syncs up with my accounting software, which is QuickBooks, which gets it out of sight, out of mind, but always 
ready and exactly where it needs to be when we need to run any reports or file our taxes. So super organized, super streamlined, and allows me to basically just spend more time on the business instead of all the accounting stuff that I personally don't want to be spending too much time on if I don't have to be. But now there are some really important things you need to be thinking about before deciding whether or not Divi is right for you. Just because it's something that I use for my business and get a lot of value from doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the right fit for you as well. So first thing to think about is company size. So Divi markets itself to small and medium sized businesses. So anywhere from one employee to about 500 employees is their sweet spot. Now, obviously, if you only have one employee right now, then the expense management and kind of the employee management isn't going to be as valuable. But as your company grows, maybe you're going to be hiring more people. And so you'll grow into those features and functionality. The credit card, though, can still be very useful for you, even if you're just a one person operation. Now, something that's really cool here, and one of the other things that pushed me over the line is that it's 100% free. There's no upgrade plan, there's no subscription fees, there's no per employee fee, no recurring card fees. I mean, it is totally and completely free. And the way that they are able to do this is because they make money through what is called interchange. So every time the card gets swiped, there is a fee that gets paid by the merchant. So the person that you are buying something from pays a fee, usually anywhere from two to 3%. That fee gets split up between a number of different people. Divi is going to be getting a cut of that. Visa is going to be getting a cut of that. A couple other people are going to be getting a cut of that. But because there is so much spend volume going through Divi's cards, they're able to run the entire business solely off of Interchange, which allows them to provide a free product to you and me. Now, not only that, they also pay out rewards, okay? So you can also earn credit card rewards from the spending that you and your employees do on your Divi cards. Now, what's interesting here is the rewards that you earn are actually going to be based on the billing cycle that you choose. So with Divi, you get to choose whether you want to pay your card off weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Now, depending on how frequently you choose, the rewards are going to go up. So if you pay your card off weekly, you're going to be earning the best rewards. Whereas if you pay your card off monthly, you will be earning the uh, worst tier of rewards. Personally, I choose to pay off weekly because I don't really need to float the money out that far and I'd rather just have elevated rewards. And so if you choose weekly, you're going to be earning 7x points at restaurants, 5x points on hotels, 2x points on recurring software and one and a half x points on everything else. So pretty competitive reward structure when you compare that to some of their competitors. But it's not all great for Divi. There are some cons that you're going to want to watch out for. The first of which is with those rewards, they're going to decrease if you're choosing either that bi-weekly or that monthly payoff schedule. Also, in most cases, there isn't going to be a sign up bonus. However, if you do choose to use the link in the description below to sign up, you're going to get a free $200. So we definitely recommend you do that if you do want to sign up and get that bonus as well. Now, the next thing to watch out for is you're going to be required to pay your card off at least every month. OK, so whichever payoff schedule you choose, you have to pay your card off in full by that date. So since I'm on weekly, I have to pay my card off in full every single week. There's no option to extend that payoff further down the line. So if you're looking for a card to really float your expenses out, Divi's probably not going to be the route for you. And then the last thing to watch out for is that the rewards get the highest earnings potential when you redeem them through Divi's travel portal. However, there are a number of other ways to redeem those rewards as well. So you can just take them as a statement credit or any number of other things instead of just redeeming them through their travel portal if you don't want to do that. So now that you have a pretty full picture of what Divi is, how it works, and the potential drawbacks, I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And if you do want to sign up, again, free $200 is waiting for you if you use the link in the description. Also helps to support the channel. So thank you very much if you decide to use that. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.